everybody, my name is Nadia and I'm one of the education officers here at Corumba Wildlife Sanctuary. Today you're going to meet an amazing animal, the barking owl, and we're going to learn all about their adaptations. So this is Bailey and Bailey is a barking owl. Her beak is very sharp and it's very pointy, but her main hunting tools is her feet, large and very strong feet. And you can see that she's quite dark on the back and she's quite speckly on the front. And that's because she sits high up in the trees. Speckles will help her to camouflage within the dappling light. But on the back there, you can see it's quite dark. So as she's high up in the trees there, she won't be seen by big predators above the tree because she will blend in with the environment. They do nest in hollows. So it's so important to actually keep those old trees with hollows. So let's have a look at her eyes. They're pretty amazing, beautiful, bright yellow colored eyes. Now that's telling us that she is crepuscular. Now crepuscular means that she can hunt in the daylight as well as nighttime. So she's not solely nocturnal animal. She's got the ability to actually turn her head 270 degrees. And that's because she cannot move her eyes. Her eyes are so big in her skull that she's not able to look up or down or move her eyes at all. So they're fixed in her eye socket. So that's why she's built with extra bones in her neck. We only have seven bones but she's got 14 bones, small little bones so she can twist and turn to see what's going on behind her or in front of her. So we can create wildlife friendly gardens for birds and other animals by placing a nest box up in the trees. Thanks for watching, now you can be a conservation champion too.